Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Thank you for joining us again today. Now we have a remarkable book for you. Today's story is called Today I Am Mad, written by Michael Gordon. Now this wonderful book teaches kids about how to handle their emotions. Now let's get started. At play school, Josh was hunting for his favorite toy, but the engine that he wanted was with another boy. Oh. Upset, Josh didn't want his problem to spoil his old day. He didn't want to share with Tom, he wanted his own way. Oh. Now as Josh watched Tom play with the toy, he started to feel worse. The other boy was having fun and Josh felt envious. He rushed over to his classmate and grabbed away the toy. Mine! That's my favorite engine! Josh yelled and then felt a rush of joy. <laughs> but his joy turned to regret when he saw that Tom looked sad. Though Josh wanted the engine, he didn't want Tom to feel bad. Now Josh was a good boy at heart, so he knew just what to do. <laughs> and he said to Tom, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have been mean to you. Tom smiled and forgave him. It's a great engine. I like it too. And Josh nodded in agreement. Maybe I can play with you. I'd really like that. Tom said. We can cheer. It will be fun. <laughs> and Josh felt proud that he had said sorry. And a new friendship had begun. <laughs> that evening, while dinner cooked, Josh said he couldn't wait. So he grabbed the chocolate cookie from the pile on a plate and mom saw him and then she shook her head and she took the treat away. Dinner will be ready soon, Josh. Go outside and play. <sighs> and Josh huffed and puffed in anger and stormed off to the yard. He knew he had to calm himself, but sometimes that was hard. He breathed deeply in and out like Mama said he should. He counted slowly, one to ten, and started to feel good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Feeling angry makes it hard to feel happy and swell. So Josh kicked the ball around the yard, knowing that he had done well. He had learned to let go of the things that had him feeling mad. And he had managed his emotions well, and he felt so proud and glad. Now that night, while Josh was waiting for his story to be read, his dad came into the room and sat down on the bed. Now dad smiled and hugged his son real tight as he began to say, I am so proud of how you managed your emotions today. Yes. Now two classmates were arguing at school the following day about which game would be the best for both of them to play. Now George shouted no! and then in a huff he stormed 
off out the door. And Jordan cried and threw the game and then slumped down to the floor. When Josh was upset, he loved to get hugs from mom and dad. A hug is a good thing to give when people are feeling sad. So Josh wanted to make his friend feel better the best way he could. And so he hugged Jordan tightly until he started to feel good. The end. What a wonderful, wonderful story. Thank you for joining us again, boys and girls. We thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon. Bye.